going on. So Spencer Dinwiddie, now the Brooklyn Nets, came out recently, last couple of days, and said that Ben Simmons is a better version of Draymond Green. And my reaction was, huh, Ben Simmons, if his mental was his, equipped to his physical, Dare I say, and before someone say blasphemy, I, well, I will say it. He could have been a 2.0 Magic Johnson if he could ever stay in the game mentally. He just can't. Physically, he's had some great moments. Physically, he's shown some things that he can round about one to five. But let's be realistic. Ben Simmons is more like a broke Lamar Odoms than he is a full-fledged reincarnation of Magic Johnson. Just saying. Spencer Dinwiddie, you know, and you could say he was taking a shot at Draymond. Draymond Green's out, by the way, just hurt himself. He out three to six weeks. But that's not even fair because if Ben Simmons at his best would eat Draymond Green for breakfast, lunch, and dinner at his because Draymond Green is not a one through five guy. He's what I call a one tweener, uh, you know, a two point five roll, maybe a knock into a three because he can dribble and move. But he's not. He does a little bit of everything: a pinch here and a pinch there. Draymond, I have some people will say something crazy and asinine because he's with Clutch Sports that he gives you little mini Charles Barkley, little mini Magic Johnson, a little mini Dennis Rodman. That's what they'll have you say. They'll give him like a little mini, like a, a sample. That's what he do. Like you go to Costco and say, yeah, give me that Draymond Green. I want a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a lot of that, which ain't a whole lot of nothing if he was left to his own devices because he wouldn't be much of nothing had he play for the Pistons or somewhere and he ever cried about going home or something. That's why he ain't trying to get out of Golden State. Because he know where his bread is buttered. But that's another video, another story. Some people think Spencer Dinwiddie has been smoking and the fro juice got to him and he fumed. Because it's not, it's hard to defend Ben Simmons. I mean, when Danny Gallinaro, of all people, comes behind you and he's going to pack your junk from behind and you really ain't been seen since that Philadelphia-Atlanta game well, he was coming behind you like he was like, Captain K, man, it was going to swat you. And you just, yeah, where you been? So it's a shame, too, because it's a mental issue, and I understand that. But it's a waste. Cat really has something. So, but please hit like, subscribe, on thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share if you feel like I'm out. Peace.